Taryn S. and welcome to the House of Witchcraft. I've been doing magic for a very long time now and I'm so happy to open up my cottage to you. Come on in. Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, House of Witchcraft. I am so happy to see you new witches. Welcome home. You are our next generation. Please, please lean in hard. I know for me, I want you to learn this stuff. All right, it's time for this old witch to pass it on to the next generation. Okay, oh, you see a lot of candles. We are doing candle reading, candle wax, candle burnings, because we have, uh, I have some different types of candles here. Uh, as far as, I think some folks are getting confused on um, what does this wax mean? I'm going to start with the our pillar candles. You see, we typically use these for doing offerings uh, when we're a temp uh, our blah, 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 on our altars. I was going to say in our temples because your altar is your temple. We use these type. Our pillars are are for decorating, illumination putting on the altar, making a beautiful arrangement. All right, next candle. You see them down here is this cute little candle I have. I love these. These are little working candles. Are uh, We actually use these for an actual offering to divinity because they're infused with herbs and oils. All right, we will burn this as an intention candle. When I am doing some sort of working, I will get my candle that's already infused with the herbs, the oils, and it becomes a tool in my working. All right. Next candle. Wonderful old school pillar candles. For all you conjuring who do folk works, this is the candle that is probably the most common. As you can see, I have other colors of them. Up in the front corner, you see our cute little tea light candles. Again, we will sprinkle little herbs and oils. We may either use these for illumination, as we will use our pillar candles for, or we may be using them in an actual working. Okay, now you're asking, why does all that matter? Actually, how these different candles are used is also how I'm going to pay attention to how they burn, all right? This is a divinity candle. It is set up uh, to burn two of them side by side on my altar. All right. And if this starts burning down and getting really goopy really fast, then I probably need to go back and cleanse and concentrate my space again. All right. Second candle I, uh, was our, our cute little working candle. Now this candle I'm going to pay more attention to as far as my working. All right, if I'm say, and actually this one is for strengthening ancestral connections. We're getting ready to do the time of the dead. That's the candle I chose to burn because I also have some stuff going on behind me. I will not light a magical candle just for the YouTube. I have to have a reason. So, if this one starts burning out fast, starts burning out goopy, what does that mean? You'll see where everything just goes down on one side. It just isn't burning. Um, the flame is dancing. It doesn't look quite right. Again, my first is to cleanse and consecrate, reconsecrate, blah, blah, blah. Reconsecrate my space. All right. Secondly, is I need to get up into my own headspace, ancestral connections. What am I working on? What's potentially being hung up? What do I need to be made aware of? All right. A lot of times if these candles are burning different, it's sort of uh, like a, one of those flashy signs in the highway to tell you, pay attention. Something's going on. Now the candle I think we're, we're really getting into is our pillars. We typically, these are magical, working, intent, manifestation, cursing, hexing. We use this candle for everything. And I used to keep one that it actually got all blacked up and the glass had cracked. About halfway through it, 
Uh, this one is been doing a nice spiritual burn. Y'all know I never turn that damn phone off. A nice spiritual burn. It's been sitting up here on the cat and you can see by it. All right, I am very pleased with this. This is letting me know that my connections are strong. In fact, all three of my candles that I do have burning right now are burning really well. If I see a lot of black up here, all right, or if I try to keep relighting it or something like that, then that can mean my working's not working. I'm not being real about what I'm doing. I'm trying to say I'm doing one thing I'm not doing. Uh, you can't light a spirit realm, basically. And if you're trying to do a work and where you'd be lying to folks saying, oh, she said this, this, and this, and we're all gonna curse on her. And you're cursing ain't quite cursing, um, it's because you're lying, all right? And when, I know a lot of times people let it burn it out and they're like, oh, what does this wax mean? Um, it's like reading tea leaves and it's like dream interpretation. There's lots of lists in books and on the internet, and those are other people's opinions. You have to first figure out why you are burning it, the situation you're burning it in. Are you being honest with yourself? What is the spirit realm around you? What are the other influences? And from there, formulate what that burn means to you. There is no, ooh, this splat means this for all of us. Oh, if it drips this way, it means this for all of us. And I know I've seen a lot on social media, the internet, well, they'll say, oh, if it burns this way, it means this. Oh, if it does this, it means this. That may be true for those people, but it also may not be true for you in the situation that you're working in, all right? And even with our little uh, tea light candles, again, if they're burning off, pay attention to what's around you. What have you been doing? All right, what's going on? And there are sometimes straight up, let me tell you, sometimes candles are bad. Sometimes that's just not a good candle. Manufactured wise, it just didn't work well. Don't be afraid to throw it out and put a new one in and start again. And then if it happens again, you know, yeah, spirit realm, divinity, all right, the universe is sending you a message through it. When you want to, uh, I'm going to go into the next part, and I'm trying not to, because I keep thinking this is such a great subject. I typically, if I have a off burn, what I will do is find that headspace, really concentrate on it, sometimes do the half squinty look at it, and see what imageries come to my head. I let the candle tell me what it, I need to know. Um, and other times it's like an ink blot. You look at it, you see something. I look at it, I see something. And so you have to really pull your witchy intuition out and back to how does it feel to you? What does it make you feel when you're looking at it? All right. What is the imagery coming to your brain? If you want to try reading the candle flame itself as a form of divination, a lot of times we like to put it in a mirror and look in the mirror at the flame. And you want to do it out of the corner of your eye with a very soft gaze, all right? Don't, but very softly, let the imagery come to you. Let the spirit realm give you the messages that you need to hear all right it's so easy to go oh what does this mean oh i read it in a book and it means this no sweetie magic is personal this is about you and your connection so if you have an off burn if you've got some smoke on a rim if you got a hunk of wax that's going down here take a deep breath let it out open your mind Give it a nice soft side eye and let the imagery come to you, all right, okay? All the answers are already inside of you. Just take the time to listen to you. All right, which is, here is how you interpret candle flames, candle wax, candle burnings. What does it all mean? 
I, uh, I hope I answered some of your questions and I hope I also inspired you to go find out what it means to you. And of course, if you're liking what you're hearing here at the House of Witchcraft, you have a join button. Please support us. We have no paywalls, no exclusive content. We put it all out there. And if you like what you're seeing, please support us. Okay, and if you want to get up in virtual space with me, we have a Patreon area where you can join. I do weekly witchy Zoom classes, in which they're probably telling me right now is weekly Zoom class. All right, and we do virtual full moons. So check that out. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have as bright of a blessed day as I'm having. And as always, amen, blessed be, ashe, and a bobo.